So I finally figured out a way to make Scalar's multiple output in version 2.7 work with Ableton and for free, although it's a little bit of a uh, workaround, which I would prefer if this was built within Ableton natively. So how do we do it? So the first thing to do is you've got to download two free programs. First one is called Element by Kashvi. And then the second one is called Loop MIDI by Tobias Ericsson. So you download Loop MIDI, download Element, go into the two programs. So you start with Loop MIDI, click on Setup, and then what you can do is press this button here, this Add Port. And what that does is add a MIDI port, and you can change the name of the MIDI port and you can remove ports as well. I've actually created one a bit earlier and I've called it Scalar Loop MIDI. And then you can go into Element, click on File, then you click on Preferences. And under MIDI, you can select MIDI Output Device Scalar Loop, which is the uh, port I created in Loop MIDI earlier. If this is the first time you've loaded the program, you want to make sure that you can bring all of your plugins into Element as well. If you right click on the interface, what you've got to do is make sure you select a MIDI Output Device, which is the port that you just created there. And then you want to select a plugin, which is Scalar. There it is. Now, I'm not sure which one to pick here, so I'm just going to type Scalar here. And the reason for that is I want to make sure I get the VST free instrument. So there it is. So I'm just going to drag that into there. That actually opens an instance of Scalar. So you just want to select the output element and plug that into Scalar Loop MIDI. And you've got Scalar there. We can close that for now. Then you want to go into Ableton. Yes, and I know there's quite a lot of steps here, which is annoying, but it is free. You want to go into Preferences and Link Tempo MIDI. You just want to make sure that you've got the port that you've created. You've just clicked on, at least you've clicked Track in your inputs and outputs just to make sure it's visible and then you just go ahead and select all of the instruments you want to use so for example i've got a repro here i've got a key zone piano here and under the midi from you select the port and then you select the channel and you just keep doing that for every channel that you want you don't have to open scalar in ableton and then you go into here, double click on Scalar again, and we're just going to just make sure the volume's down. Going to go into Scalar. So this is opened within Element. I'm going to select just any song, really. We'll just select Funk and Soul 5. Just going to play that. I'm going to right click play so it plays on a loop. Let's take the Scalar sound off. go into Ableton and you can actually see now all the individual notes are being played. Let's go back into Scalar. And of course, when you're in Ableton, you can go ahead and mute or and change some of the instruments. So let's just go ahead and change this one. It doesn't sound so great. Now, the problem with this approach is I can't sync it properly. It doesn't matter what I tried, I couldn't really sync it to the BPM of Ableton. But you can record all of this into your DAW and you can do quite a lot of things and still have a lot of fun. It's still not exactly the most um, amazing solution, but it's something that can help. I'm not a genius. I actually worked this out by looking at this website because I know there's similar problems with Insta Composer, which isn't a plugin I've ever used before but they do have a, and I'll link it to the description. They do have this pretty cool web page about how to link stuff in Ableton Live into Insta Composer to get all of the tracks appearing there. There's instruction for Mac users, so Mac users can use ISE driver, and ISE driver, it does not work in PC, and I've got PC, so I had to install Cache View and Loop MIDI. That's it for now. Hopefully, if you guys know a better way of doing this or using these elements, um, all 
all ears, especially if it means we can sync everything together. So that's it pretty much. Love Scalar and just really want to get all the functionality to work in Ableton. And that's why I'm doing this. Bye.